دعاء السوق the hadith in when Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us what to say when we enter the marketplace. Listen to this. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, whoever enters the marketplace, whoever enters the stores, the malls, and he says, la ilaha illa Allah, wahdahu la sharika lah, lahu al-mulku wa lahu al-hamdu yuhyi wa yumeet, biyadihi al-khayr, wa huwa ala kulli shay'in qadir. The one who says this, as he enters the marketplace, What's his reward? كُتِبَ لَهُ بِهَا أَلْفَ أَلْفَ حَسَنَةً Allah Azza wa Jal writes for him a million حَسَنَات and wipes away from him a million sins. وَبُنِيَ لَهُ بَيْتٌ فِي الْجَنَّةِ And Allah Azza wa Jal builds for him a house in the paradise. Allahu Akbar! What is this reward? You know why the reward was so huge? Because when you enter a marketplace, the marketplace is not a place of dhikrullah. It's not a place in where people gather and remember Allah. Rather, the marketplace is the most hated place to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As in the authentic hadith found in Sahih Muslim. What it means is that not the land is hated to Allah, but what happens in the marketplace is hated to Allah azza wa jal. You know, people cheating in marketplaces. People are swearing, people are lying. There's deception, backbiting, gossip, men and women looking at each other. This is what happens in marketplaces. These are filth, these are hated places to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rather than Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he described the marketplace, he said, إِنَّهَا مَعْرَكَةُ الشَّيْطَانِ وَبِهَا يَنْصِبُ رَايَتَهِ That the marketplace, it's a war zone of the shaytan. And he sets up his flag. He sets up his flag in the marketplace. And this implies that he has a permanent presence in the marketplace. And he gathers his army and they plan. How are they going to deceive people? How are they going to make people argue with each other and fight each other and deceit each other and look at each other? This is the marketplace. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Allah would give him a million hasanat, wipe away a million sayyat and build for him a house in the paradise. Why? Because he made dhikr of Allah in a place where dhikrullah is abandoned, it's neglected. He made dhikr of Allah Azza wa Jal in a time and place where dhikrullah is unheard of. Rather, ash-shaytan is there, Allahu Akbar. So now you understand why he had such a high reward that when you worship Allah in times where people neglect the worship of Allah, then your reward is huge, it's great with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.